we're going to introduce today iPad 2, the second generation iPad. So, what is iPad 2? What have we learned? What can we improve? Well, it is an all new design. It is not a tweak design. It's not got marginal improvements. It's a completely new design. And the first thing is, it's dramatically faster. We have a new chip we call A5. Our chip wizards have come up with this. And it's great. It's dual core processors, right? two processors inside. And so we get up to twice as fast on CPU performance. But we've really gone all out on the graphics performance up to nine times faster graphics. The graphics on this thing are wonderful. Same low power as A4. We don't want to give up any of that legendary battery life. And even though others are starting to ship, I think this is going to be the first dual core tablet to ship in volume. So A5 is a really a, a quite an achievement and is going to give us something that's up to twice as fast on CPU performance, up to nine times faster on graphics, and the first iPad was no slouch. So, a lot faster with A5. Second, we've built in some cameras for video. We've got a rear camera out the back, and we've got a front-facing camera out the front. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes. We've also built in the gyroscope that we have in the iPhone and the iPod Touch. Now, having built in all of this stuff, one of the most startling things about the iPad 2 is it is dramatically thinner. Not a little bit thinner, a third thinner. 33% thinner. That's what it looks like. So if you look at the numbers, when you look at the numbers, gone from 13.4 millimeters down to 8.8 .8 millimeters thick. It's dramatic. And for those of you that have iPhone 4s, the new iPad 2 is actually thinner than your iPhone 4. So we're incredibly happy with this. And when you get your hands on one, it feels totally different. And all of these other tablets are coming out, most of them even thicker than the original iPad, nothing even approaching this. In addition to thicker, it's lighter as well, going from 1.5 pounds down to 1.3. And you might not think that's a lot, but when you get down to 1.5 pounds, a tenth of a pound is a lot. And uh, it feels quite a bit lighter. And it's got an all new design. It's just beautiful. So this is what it looks like. It's really thin. And it comes in two colors, black and white. We're going to be shipping white from day one. <laughs> And to give you some scale, this is what it looks like. Again, you can just pick this thing up. It almost floats. Black and white. Black or white here. Now, in addition to having both colors, we also have models that work with both AT&T and Verizon's 3G networking from day one. And uh, you would think that we would have to give up some of the iPad's legendary battery life. But our engineering team found a way. And we have the same legendary 10-hour battery life as the original iPad, with all of this extra stuff in it, and yet dramatically thinner. And again, that's over a month of standby. So 10 hours of battery life. Again, a lot of these other guys are coming out with substantially less. And this has been tried and tested by every reviewer, uh, iPads get 10 hours of battery life. 
So we're really happy to keep that and uh, never let that go. Now, in addition to preserving the battery life, when we add all this stuff, we've also preserved the price. And so we're going to keep the same exact prices starting at just $4.99, same exact prices as the current iPad, yet with all of these new features, a dramatically improved product. What's up, Brian Tong here, and if you want the scoop for all the good and bad inside the Apple world, then the only thing you should be watching is CNET's Apple Byte. I'll give you the latest news, rumors, tips, apps of the week, and even call out the bad apples. So watch it all at CNET.com slash Apple and I'll see you there.